Hello and welcome to another week with Marie's Dream Time Messages. Today um, I'm coming to you with another week and it's going to be a brand new week starting the 6th of January and running and through to the 12th which will be on a Sunday. The full moon is going to be on Saturday so it's going to be a really good time during this month to set your intentions for your dreams for 2020 and what you wish to achieve. Um, so the last week we got the butterfly I am connected and also dragonfly I am blissful. So um, last week how did you go? Did you find, did you, um, I like it, you may have found that it was a little bit hard to wind down from the year. Uh, the dragonfly was telling us to slow down so that we can go back to our natural rhythm and balance. And um, we can often find that natural rhythm and balance through the land and the connection to the land that we have, especially when you have a strong connection to your culture. Not just Aboriginal culture, but the culture that you're a part of. And it could be in your immediate environment as well, in connection to the animals, the land and nature, which uh, is very prominent uh, in Aboriginal culture, in my culture um, that I follow and also um, um, many cultures around the world. So um, the land is in need of a lot of healing right now and uh, in order to bring more balance back. So. Um, not only can we rejuvenate our spirit in nature through the balance of life and um, the cycles within nature, but sometimes um, when there is, nature can get off balance, especially when there is a lot of taking from the land and there's not enough giving back. Um, there's been a lot of, um, you would have realised and um, been reading in a lot of the news to do with Australia about the bushfires and the horrendous conditions and um, situations and uh, that have been happening in relation to that. And that's just really an example of a lot of um, taking and not enough giving back to the land. Um, but in, um, you know, everybody can make a... Um, conscious decision to um, to give back to the land in certain ways through ceremony and also through little rituals. Um, ritual may be a pretty harsh word but it really a ritual is just more to do with um, um, an everyday honouring and um, practice, um, a spiritual practice that you might do on a daily basis or a weekly basis. So um, I uh, like um, um, focusing a lot on healing to do with the land and also to do with um, this in my paintings as well. So um, let's get, um, so I'm going to try to get a, um, a lot more time to be able to explain these things through videos. Um, but for now, I just want to keep going with this weekly dream time messages that I've come online on this video to show you today and um, so if you really if you have one of my card decks at the moment then it comes in a box and um, you've got your 33 glossy cards and your 85 page booklet which gives you a lot more detail into the animals and how you can connect to them and just some practical um, action steps. Each week I just draw two cards so that we can get some motivation um, to keep focusing on our goals and to keep connected to our culture and to keep learning and understanding and uh, being able to connect more with our heart and fulfilling our purpose. Um, so, you know, if you connect um, with my paintings and with what I do, then you would also realise that you also are um, part of your purpose is to do with nature and connecting in with um, healing in some form. Um, 
which is part of who you are and uh, what is close to your heart as well so you know the cards can also help uh, your gifts to unfold more as you understand and connect to them in a stronger uh, give you, giving you strength and um, insight so and a more awareness into that so let's just have a look at which cards I'm going to pull out for this week and the first card that we got with Crocodile I Am Powerful which tells us a message when I release what no longer serves me from my life I become more powerful um, we keep getting this card so there's something there um, we need to have a look at so let's just have a look in the guidebook which is telling us that crocodile reminds you that your soul is going to thrive by taking action to take the necessary steps to transform yourself out of a disempowering situation because it is this knowledge is in the belly as Aboriginal people that that is how we learn a pivotal change is coming and it leads you to take action now so don't delay and again with the new moon is I mean the new year is upon us now so uh, you might want to integrate this change over a period of time um, the purpose of crocodile dreaming is to fully understand that the source of your own power lies in your hands and not in another. Now is the time to take back your power. Listen carefully to your intuition and the journey of your songline dreaming, which detailed in the first card, and take notice of where this journey is leading you. It is leading you down. Is it leading you down a disempowering path? Or is it going to lead you to one that's going to help you to grow? Your soul is going to thrive and this is the action step. Um, by taking action to push yourself out of a situation where you may be feeling hurt or stuck, allow yourself to be free by walking away from this track which has been putting you down emotionally, physically or spiritually. Give yourself the permission to leave so you can take back your power. You are powerful, don't be afraid. The negative, you may be feeling hurt, stuck or procrastinating about a change. Don't procrastinate. Now's the time to make a change. And uh, you are powerful um, uh, when you can make this change and come out on the other side of it. So change may be a little bit scary, but uh, don't listen to the fearful part of yourself. Um, listen to the part that's going to help you to thrive. Let's see which card is going to complement the crocodile this week. So, um, you know, the change. Um, crocodile is also about quick changes too. Uh, it may be a quick change that you need to do a quick change to get out of something that's really stuck. Um, so there's many different ways that you may need to do that. You may need to catch someone off guard. Uh, <laughs> And that may be why you need to take make a quick change, if it's, especially if it's to do with somebody else. So there's all different situations that you may be needing to take a quick change. So Crocodile will really help you with that. Um, especially as one that's made you feel very, very stuck. So let's have a look at the next card that's coming up and it's with Dolphin I Am Aware and the message of the Dolphin tells us that when I understand my deep connection to nature I allow myself to open up and merge with the healing force of creation. So it's about having a deep connection to nature and if you haven't done that for a while and connecting to nature then it's time to do that because in doing that you can heal yourself which in turn heals the land so when we have a look at dolphin just go um, the dolphin is number 30 card so the dolphin is telling us that when we go to the guidebook it's going to give us a lot more detailed information than what I'm giving you in this video um, dolphin is reminding you about the connection you have to the life force energy of the universe which is the connection between earth and sky you are learning a lot about yourself through the movement and cycles within nature have faith and trust in the powerful connection that you have there is many patterns and intricacies within nature that you are yet to find and understand allow your heart to be open to learning more about this read more books study more topics or attend workshops that will enable you to learn more about nature and the universe for a better understanding the healing force of creation is a powerful energy that you will benefit greatly from now and into the future you may be feeling hurt 
or you may be blocking your spiritual path and this may be causing destruction in your life and you may not you may or may not even be aware of it the positive is um, the dolphin can help you with the heart of creation having more feeling and a deep soulful knowledge these are the two cards that come up this week and how you can connect more with these two as well um, is um, you may be uh, particularly connected to one animal like the crocodile or the dolphin that you may want to work with this week or you may there may be one animal there that you want to work with on a full-time basis which will enable you to open up more to your gifts and the connection that you have um, to nature more so these are the two cards that you have that we got this week so I hope you have a wonderful week with Marie Streamtime messages and I'll see you again next week. I hope you have a wonderful week and um, and I've been sending a lot of prayers to do with uh, rain and getting rain. So I'm hoping that rain will come very, very soon to put these fires out. And um, my prayers go out to all the animals and... Uh, that have been affected and uh, I hope you have a great week. Bye for now.